What is up, fam? It's your girl, Kitty Del Rey, a.k.a. Ashley, with a cast. This is a cast. You can see it's a cast. And as you can see real quick, if you look to your right, look at all that custom content goodness. Amazing. But, I would like to be honest, I'm not the smartest uh, simmer in the world. I kind of fucked up and lost all my old saves trying to make my game run a little bit faster. But I have to sacrifice it for mods. And yes, I was just having fun with this new sim that I'm creating. Actually, the only sim in my game. But I do kind of have a little bit of a storyline. But it's kind of two storylines that come from two different angles. But when we get to meet the guy, then we'll see... You you will get to see the whole story unfold. Daniela is a beautiful, beautiful sim. Um, she's a little bit fishy, as you can see. She's a mermaid. And she really cares about the environment. But honestly, she loves partying. She loves, you know, just being out there, having fun, being on social media. She also wants to use her social media influence to you know, help out the environment, help out the world. And in this quest, she ends up finding a friend, and his name is Christopher. He's from Samurai Shuno. And mermaids are very special. They're kind of special. They could do special things. And, yeah, I guess I was just sitting here because, you know, sometimes I like walking away for like 50 minutes and then coming back, but... We're fine, but I think she's a beautiful sim. I have so much custom content. I'm so happy. Like, it's not too much. And, oh, yeah. So, I wanted to say with this, right, her eyes are naturally green, right? She's with glasses. Her eyes are green. But sometimes she likes to catfish, wear some contacts, and that's what it is. But, yeah, she just really wants to help the environment, get the word out there, and she uses her persuasion very intense persuasion not really intense but she uses her persuasion skills to get you know kind of what she not really what she wants she's not using people as for the greater good i guess you can say but it's this one guy named christopher that she met online and honestly <sighs> She doesn't really want to be with him like that. I don't see them being together in a relationship. She just saw in him that he had the technical background. He has a very, you know, extensive background in science and technology. And when she met him on Simstagram, she saw potential in him. So she kind of persuaded him to coming to Sulani and helping her out on her quest <laughs> to save you know Sulani to save the environment but she's a party girl she's actually really just a gorgeous gorgeous girl she got dimples I actually kind of got inspired by uh Jen aka Urban Sims that's my girl like I love how she makes her sims funny thing is is that I tried to get um her reshade and it made my computer cry Oh my god, it was horrible. But yeah, she's just like a she's a beautiful sim. Like she she doesn't really want to use her her talent for bad, but she has to do what she has to do in order for her to keep her um her community and herself safe. And it bothers her that like it feels like no one is has the same kind of feeling except for Chris and he was willing to like just leave San My Shuno to help her out so we're finishing up on her um I kind of went back and forth with her traits because I wasn't really sure what I wanted from her but yeah yeah uh Unfortunately, Christopher doesn't know she's a mermaid. He has no clue that she's a freaking mermaid. Like, he, he feels that there's quote-unquote something fishy. 
about her. I'm not going to keep those traits. <laughs> as much as I'm not keeping those traits. But, yeah, he doesn't know that she's a mermaid. She just thinks that she's some girl who's really passionate about, like, the environment and really likes water or whatever the case is. Yeah, I just think she's so awesome. And after this, so I want to give you, because uh, I feel like this should be coming through Christopher's point of view. Um, so when we get to meet Christopher, I guess I could tell you Christopher's um, backstory. As Christopher leaves Samai Shino behind to pursue his dream in cleaning up the Sulani beaches with the help of his Instagram friend, Danielle. Chris and Danny have known each other for three years, talking online for hours. Danny, on the other hand, wants to spread awareness about the world through her music. With these two in Tulani, who knows what shenanigans they can get into. Though Danny is making Chris feel at home, he still feels a little fishy about the whole arrangement. What can Danny be hiding? So yeah, but I'm also going to have like a little um, creative sim. I, you know, I think he's so adorable. Like he clearly has feelings for Danny and it's kind of sucks because like she, she doesn't see it in that way. But at the same time, he really does want to help the environment and help out his friend. Um, but how will things play out? Will they actually end up being together or will, how long will Danny be able to keep the secret? Who freaking knows? You know, I really enjoy them, especially the little freckles. Unfortunately, I don't have that much male CC, so that's unfortunate. Maybe one day I'll do a CC haul or a CC shopping for male stuff. I, I don't even know how to mail sometimes I get annoyed with male stuff so I just do a pre-done outfit yeah she loves the ocean and he's a genius he's a bookworm and he's a bro like he's really a bro so this is their house yeah we just jumped right in I guess I'm missing some footage GG kitty this is their right little house like i'm kind of changed it like 50 times but it's and danny actually kind of comes she doesn't really come from money but she has money she's able to afford like nicer things she, clearly she's on social media even though we're starting her social media off strong um so i actually downloaded this house and the house Lord knows how to actually pronounce it. Yeah, I'm just going to stare at it. But I downloaded this on from the Sims Gallery. It was an empty shell and this is just me decorating it. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, she's just kind of, you know, they kind of have a little bit of chain to chain. So they're not necessarily poor. You know, this is a very simple house. I'm not really like I'm a little bit better at decorating, but than I am at actually trying to make the house. So his room is actually on the left hand side, and her room is actually on the right hand side. And they're gonna be partying it up. They're gonna have parties, a kava party. Um, Danielle is actually. Um, a child of the island or she just wants to, she wants to live that island life she's very chill wants to party have fun but of course spread awareness um, <laughs> without spreading that awareness yeah she's so like see look she has her video station there and yeah, she has a video station there have a little TV area nothing too big so yeah, that will actually be it. I hope you enjoy and I'm going to try and upload, well at least record another one of the other side of the story. <laughs> I think this is a very interesting kind of story. You know, you can't trust those sirens. Chloe, I think Haley is actually going to be the new Ariel and I cannot wait. I love her. 
But you can never trust a siren. Never trust a siren. But yes, and their lots have home studio, homey, and it has spirit. So, thanks for watching. And have a good day, a good night, wherever you are. Thank you.